Now we come to the five elements. Now the five elements are the traditional way of looking at nature in the East, you know, and there are actually six elements. There's light, which is traditionally called princely fire, and then there's um, fire, which is called ministerial fire. But really, fire is fire, ministerial fire, light is princely fire. Now, all the elements come from the light, from a different balance. Now, we see the structure, remember, of the ten dimensions, the point, the line, the surface, and then the eye, the vision. Well, the vision is the seeing of the light, the image on the screen. Because we, you know, in that movement, from movement to rest, that we see in the first dimension, because all the information is contained or encoded in the different dimensions, as we move in our minds from place to place, we get the idea of place and of the fluid fluidity of space. So space is primarily fluid. We can flow from place to place. So space is fluid and it, it, it's, it's open. Now we identify space by smell. So when we recognize the smell, we know we're back in the same place. But we actually identify place or space through echolocation, through the echo or the sound of the space. Because remember, this is in the audio triangle, the triangle of the distant senses of smell, hearing, and heat detection. The senses we can detect at a distance. So it takes space and time to get there. And that requires a certain energy. So we get space, the third dimension, time, the fourth, and a certain energy. Now, obviously, energy is fire. Fire is obviously energy. And there we see very simply that fire, the eight is actually just a flame. Now, from the fluidity, of space, we get the element of water. So you get the idea, everything arises within our mind, within our nature, by our inner nature. Then we see the world, we project that world. So we see the fluidity of space, and that gives us the idea of water, of, of space. The space is actually being in water, moving from place to place. And we test the water by smelling it, to see if the water is pure, to see what we can smell in the water, because pure water has got no smell and no taste. Now this, you can see in an ohm sign, this is like a nose, if you look at like a these are these are lips and that there, there is a smell a wave and there's the nose above or well, you can see this is a cross section of waves the ohm sound ohm ohm see a sound wave in oscillation so this gives us the element of water of fluidity so we can understand all things in nature in terms of fluid mechanics fluid dynamics fluid mechanics the movement of the Himalayas the tides even space-time you know in in in, in the uh, bending or curvature of space now from that water we get a pressure, we get a pressure wave, so we get the, the pressure triangle here. Get a pressure triangle. Now the pressure is fundamentally water pressure, and it's obviously a pressure at a membrane, so we get surface tension, surface tension, and we get a sensitivity, that surface tension, and that gives us a sense of touch. 
and that surface tension is on a cell and that gives us wood, the element of wood. That wood is the surface tension under water pressure that's, that's grown, grown the tree, the water pressure and the surface tension causing the, the capillary action to create the element of wood. So from water we get wood. Remember from the five elements this is the creative cycle. Water creates wood. From wood creates fire. And then fire creates earth, the ashes, and then earth creates metal. And then metal is either wind or metal. So we can see wind as carrying clouds and bringing water. Or we can see metal pipes as carrying water. So we get we get we get the wood from the the, the, the that pressure and that sensitivity as it endures we get the element of earth of solidity of the endurance of objects see there's the corner of the objects this six is a spiral and the scent spiral increasing pressure a scent spiral the wave endures and creates sound and that sound is a function of time, determines time determines time and time is rigid, space is fluid time is rigid, time is rigid in, in like an inevitable cycle in a particular place so this is the, this is the remember these are the hands of the clock the metal hands of the clock the clock is the iron plate divine number system okay, the hands of the clock the clock is rigid the moving finger writes and having written moves on nor all thy piety nor wit shall lure it back to cancel half a line nor all thy tears wash out a word of it the time is rigid its metal from this idea we get the idea of our metal you know our strength our character m-e-double-t-l-e our metal our ability to endure and to live so, he, he, so we have the element of metal from the element of wood as I say we get that structure we, we get rigid structure through the pressure in, in the um, capillary action and the osmosis and the cell walls the sense of touch we get those fixed pressure maps which creates the objects, which creates the earth, the solid. See how it springs from our inner psychological dimensions. These elements are expressions. And we go on to express those. And so project them onto the world. So we project onto the world its solidity. From the surface tension, the pressure. You know, within that, the vegetative processes within ourselves. So, you see what I mean? So, it's like an in, it's intuitive thing. It's an intuitive understanding. It can be applied to all the elements. So, we see that the system of the five elements, remember the sixth element is light, which reveals all the other elements is put onto the tree of meaning so the, tr the system of five elements is actually a way of explaining the tree of meaning it's another system as an expression of the tree of meaning and a an important way to understand the tree of meaning is understanding the five elements so we get the organs of the body from the water you know the kidney for the purification of the water and the bladder 
for the excretion of the water. So the yang water is the bladder, the two wavy lines, the, the urine, which is Aquarius, the water carrier, the bladder. Then we get the kidney, purifying the water. the smell of the water. You get the metal, you get the time, the rhythm of the lungs and the regularity of the bowels. This gives the metal, the inner character, the metal, the sound of the voice and the straining in the movement of the bowels the inner tensions and anxieties and determination you know the overexertion you know the meanness the character comes from from the metal here we have the light and the light is in the heart remember this is the heart This is vision, this is the seer, this is the observer, the driver, the ego, the self is here. But it's the ob identification of the self with the observer of the image of the light, which is the fall of man or the incarnation. Incarnation of Vishnu, the heart, the Dhaka. And then we've got, you know, we've got, so we have Sagittarius, which is the arrow, the Cupid, with the heart, the glance of the heart, looking, Sagittarius, looking around, looking around, jumping around, the glance, the Cupid's arrow, fancying. And then we've got Capricorn, which is the, the small intestine, separating the pure from the impure. Feeling superior, separating the sheep from the goats. It's all the function of the heart, separating, dividing off. And we've got wood, which is the bladder and the liver. The liver is the planning department. The bladder is the master of the official who takes the, the decisions. Decisions. Gemini, the twins, yes or no, right or left. The rat in a maze, right or left. The decision, Gemini. Cancer, the two lobes of the liver, the extension of the liver in the, in the symbol for Gemini. The cow, the bull, the cattle, the planning department, the planning department, the touch, hunting and gathering, collecting, collecting. And then we have those objects as a catalogue in the seventh dimension. Remember this is a pressure triangle pressure triangle and we have those pressure maps which is the catalogue of objects that we identify by taste so in nature there will be a catalogue of different leaf shapes and then identified by different tastes this is different places identified by different smell so different uh, earth is identified by taste so it's taste, it's sweetness, it's taste, it's salt and sugar, t salt and sweet, the amari, the bitter, the tastes. So we have the, the stomach and the spleen. The stomach thinks, digests, so this is the scholar, realm of the scholar. And then the spleen accumulates and distributes you know, Scorpio, accumulation and distribution, 
rotation. So we've got scale and rotation, the steps of the Earth, the different objects. Here we've got the, 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 the fire, the, the fire of the, you know, like in the man, the sexual drive, the libido, but the energy in the, in the system, the fire, the heat detection, but the fire of warmth, of comfort, of the home, you know, of, 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 you know, of the, you know, the heat, the physical comfort. So in understanding the tree of meaning, this is the thing, is to understand these separate systems that are operated different, you know, amongst different peoples and see that they all spring from and add to the understanding of the tree of meaning. So the tree of meaning becomes the common language, the common philosophy.